it's just brought the um, the real estate public company to such a new level. Uh, you know, we're in the S&P 500. We're widely owned institutionally. We get terrific uh, media coverage. Um, we got broad, diverse investors. So it's taken the real estate world and brought it up to kind of the you know the 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 industry standard that you'd see in uh, you know consumer product companies and uh, telecommunication company uh, uh, industries and so on. So it's really taken you know the real estate business to the kind of the next corporate level. We've become you know the the uh, preferred way to invest in uh, commercial real estate. You know, we have the we have the portfolios, we have the management teams, we have the uh, the performance, um, we have the liquidity, and um, we have the opportunities and the growth. And I think over time, you know, from an institutional owner, I think we, you know, we are still gaining traction in this area. But we've become the preferred, or we should become the preferred way to invest, as opposed to, you know, to necessarily direct investment. You know, number of REITs being added to the S&P 500 would, to me, it gave us a certain level of um, street cred, so to speak, that we were, you know, big industry that, that, that warranted that. And our ability to access capital in many forms, I think, has led to that credibility, and, and they're all kind of tied together. I think we'll just get more and more mainstream in terms of... Uh, portfolio allocation and um, and uh, you know hopefully be continue to be an investment of choice for uh, retail and institutional investors